Oh my god, Prophet, you're still playing Vanguard? Isn't Vanguard the worst Call of Duty of all time? Why are you playing this shitty game, man? I'm one of the minor majority of people who thinks Vanguard sucks. Well, I'm playing it over MW3, and I'm playing it over most shooters. This game doesn't have any skill-based matchmaking in it, which automatically, automatically makes it better than Modern Warfare 3. Because... I consistently do well in this game, and then I'm not punished for doing well by getting high skill lobbies. It's because this game is dead, they're forcing whoever, even the high ping. Even playing on high ping, this game feels better than Modern Warfare 3. And like, god damn, is this game fun? This game is so much fun compared to Modern Warfare 3. Like, I, I was going to go play some Modern Warfare 3 just then before I made this commentary, but I was like, eh, I don't really feel like it. Because I just played Vanguard, and I launched Vanguard instead. I, mean, I haven't played a match yet. wanted to get this commentary out of the way first. But you know what I have been playing lately? I've been playing Halo 6. Halo Infinite campaign. I got a free Game Pass subscription from NVIDIA GeForce Rewards. And I gotta say, I'm really impressed. Like, I was gonna eventually buy Halo 6 on sale, but I don't have to buy it now. I can try the campaign and finish it for free. That's awesome. And, like, I don't give a fuck if I don't own it again. I'm not gonna bother playing the game on Legendary. Like, I don't... Even going back to Halo Master Chief Collection, it's hard to just get on there and play a few levels of campaigns. I just can't be bothered. It's, I've done it so many times. I don't, I, there's no reason to do it again. I beat all the campaigns on Legendary, even Halo 2. I beat all campaigns on Legendary. And I just have no will to do it on Halo 6. But it's been a blast. The gameplay is really cool. I feel like there's a little bit, the, the open world gets old really fast though, in my opinion. I, I definitely think about those levels like uh, the arc from Halo 3 and uh, Truth and Reconciliation. And I also think about Assault in the Control Room and the Silent Cartographer levels <clears throat> and two betrayals in the more, you know, the final level of Halo 1 and all the great vehicle levels in Halo 2. I guess because it's still early days, I only just captured, I've only captured two fire bases in Halo 6 so far. But. Yeah, I mean, I definitely want to see Halo 5 come to PC because I'm not going to... I don't really want to spoil it for myself if, if it does come to PC and I've already seen all the cutscenes and I've seen all the levels. I like to go in blind, you know what I'm saying? You guys probably like to go in blind as well when you play your games, surely? Like, you like the out-of-box experience, which YouTubers kill for you because they just have to be first to upload all the Black Ops 6 leaks, etc., etc., and let's cover those leaks quickly. I wasn't going to make a video on it, but I'm, I'm, I might as well cover it quickly in this video. <clears throat> the, the full game has pretty much been exposed, and the beta doesn't even come out until the end of the week. Like, the end of the month, I mean. And uh, we already know everything that's in it, so the out-of-box experience is ruined. The only thing we don't know as a community is we don't know how the game plays. We don't know how it's going to play with skill-based matchmaking, how it's on our, how it plays in our systems, and uh, whether the servers are any good, because they were just bot, bot gameplay, which means zero ping. <clears throat> Regardless, though, uh, the game's content looks pretty good. And it's going to be cool to try the beta out and see how we go. But yeah, I think I don't think much is going to change Call of Duty-wise, unless they decide to put skill-based matchmaking out of public matches. As I've said a thousand times now, I'm not buying Black Ops 6. I don't give a shit how good the beta is. I'm done with COD. I want to play other games. I want to just have fun doing something different. COD to me is still the best shooter on the market because it feels the best and it plays the best and the weapons feel good. And the, to say what you want, defend X Defiant all you want, the gunplay in X Defiant feels way off feels way off compared to how it does in COD, and that's just the truth. But that's pretty much all I want to talk about, guys. The commentary uh, gameplay is coming to an end. I didn't play the objective at all in this gameplay, because what's the point? You don't get anything for winning. And, uh, yeah, I was just having fun playing Vanguard, using one of my uh, favorite guns, just trying to get gold or whatever. And... Yeah, just a random commentary with a bunch of topics thrown together in under five minutes.
Not bad. Peace.